So we all have played Portal and it's a really great game. So let's try to recreate a Portal to see how it actually works. Now when we think about Portals, the main goal of Portals is to move from one location to the other. However, a more important thing is the visualization which Portals offer. Now if you look in the game, you can actually see what's on the other side of the portal. So how we can achieve this effect? We can achieve this by using two cameras for two sides of the portal. So one camera would be rendering one side of the portal and the other camera would be rendering the other. Now I did this in Unity and you can see this is how it looks like. Now when you look at it closely, it doesn't look that great. It looks like a 2D picture on a 3D space and it doesn't look realistic at all. Also, it looks very stretched and blurry, which shouldn't happen. So what is the problem over here? Now when you look at it in the game that when we are moving, we can actually see what's on the other side. So the portal is actually behaving like a window. It means that if we actually rotate the camera with the player, we will be actually able to see on the other side according to the player's view. So let's try to do this in Unity. So I did it and if you look at it closely, now I am able to see on the other side. It's a bit better but actually still not that good. Still we have that issue, this all view is actually looking 2D on a 3D space and still it doesn't look realistic. Now one thing to notice is that if you are closer to the portal, the objects on the other side of the portal actually appear closer to you. It means that if we actually change the distance of the camera along with the distance of the player, in that way we might be able to solve this issue. Okay, so now when we look at it, we can see that the camera on the other side is actually changing its position according to the player. So, so it's a bit better now, but we still don't have the final effect which we want for a portal. So let's try to achieve that now. So when you look at it closely, what is happening is that our camera on the other side of the portal is actually rendering the whole image onto the screen of our portal. However, this is not what we want. Like I said, we want our portal to behave like a window. So it means that we do not want the camera to render each and everything what it sees, but we only want that part which can be fitted in this portal. So it means that we need to cut out the other area of the portals and only render those areas which are actually in view of our window. Now I did this in Unity and you can actually see that it looks way better now and you get the feeling of depth and you can actually see how the portals actually look like and you're able to see on the other side of the portal. Now currently we can actually see what's on the other side however we cannot go there. Now the whole goal of portal is to actually move the character from one location to the other. If you try to actually do it by changing the position, the issue is that there is a bit of stutter and the player will notice right away and the whole immersion will collapse. So the solution to this is that to move the player only when the player has actually crossed the portal in half. In that way it's very difficult to notice any stutter. So I tried this in Unity and you can see that it looks really good now. Also you can notice that there is no stutter and the transition from one portal to the other is fluent. So this strategy works with a first person player, however it doesn't work if you actually try to move another physical object through the portal. Now if you will notice that if I try to move it, you can actually see the object disappearing and reappearing on the other side. Now in portal games you must have noticed that you can actually throw cubes around and you don't see any this kind of issue. So how to solve this? Now one way of solving this is to actually create a duplicate on the other side of the portal in the same position and orientation with respect to the other portal. In that way what happens that the illusion doesn't break and it actually looks like that we are throwing one object to the other side of the portal. However there are two objects. And once, the ob once your original object has actually crossed the portal, you can destroy your duplicated object. So now I have finally changed the look of our portal and you can see that it looks better now because I feel like a square portal doesn't look that great and it's also similar to as in the game. So now you can also see that I can easily move from one location to the other and everything works perfectly. 
So hope this video gives you a bit of idea how portals work and thanks for watching this video and have a great day guys.